so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Whoa! Hey! It's me, Blippi. And look at what I'm doing! Yeah, I'm on a hike! Whoa! I've been hiking for a very long time today. Yeah, and I think I made it to the top of a mountain. Whoa, this mountain has a lot of bushes, shrubs, trees. Whoa, and really big rocks. So cool. Wow, I love going on hikes because you get out in nature, you smell the fresh air. <sighs> wow, and look at how high we are up here on the mountain. You can see so many mountains. Hello, mountains! Hello, mountains! Whoa, did you hear an echo? That's <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> oh. Look! Do you see that? That looks like a big dome! Yeah! That must be where a telescope is! Yeah, today we're at Mount Wilson Observatory on Mount Wilson in California. And this is going to be so much fun. Let's go explore. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out. This dome is massive. Wow, it is so big. There's definitely a telescope inside there. <laughs> yeah, do you know what a telescope is? Yeah, it's a piece of equipment used to peer out into outer space. You can see planets, you can see stars, and all sorts of cool things. <laughs> yeah, the people that go into outer space are called astronauts. Yeah, but the people from Earth that study outer space are called astronomers. Today, you and I can be astronomers. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Did you hear that echo? Yeah, that's because we're in the dome. So cool. Yeah, and speaking of cool, yeah, check it out. This is the telescope. Oh, I sure do love that color. Yeah, it's the color blue. You already know, it's one of my two favorite colors. Whoa, do you know how a telescope works? Yeah, basically, there's an opening up top, way up there. Some light enters, say from a star or a planet, and then it bounces off some mirrors, and then it goes to the eyepiece. Oh, the eyepiece? Yeah! Whoa. Check it out! Yeah, this is what you look through to see things at night with the telescope. Whoa! Yeah! Do you want to see what you could see with this exact telescope if it was nighttime? Yeah! Woo! Yeah, do you see that? That is the planet Saturn! Whoa! And I know it's Saturn because of all those colorful rings. So cool! Ooh, and what's that? Yeah! That's our planet Jupiter! That's the biggest planet in our solar system. Whoa, it's so big! Whoa! And it looks like Jupiter has a lot of moons! Wow! <laughs> yeah, planet Earth, we only have one moon. Whoa! Whoa, look at that! Yeah, looks like Andromeda Galaxy! That is the closest galaxy to our galaxy! Our galaxy is the Milky Way Galaxy! Whoa! Oh, and what's that? Ooh, Orion Nebula! Yeah, that is where all the stars are born in our galaxy! Whoa, <laughs> this telescope is awesome! And how it sees all these things in outer space, since they're in different locations, that means this telescope moves! <laughs> Maybe we can go to the control board and move the telescope ourselves! Yeah, let's go! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, so many stairs! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Oh, who are you? Hi, I'm Tom. Oh, nice to meet you, Tom. Hi. I'm Blippi. 
What do Good you to do meet here? you. I'm the telescope operator. Ooh, the telescope operator? Yes. So that means you push buttons to make the telescope go left, right, up, down? That's right. Wow. Why do you have a computer here, Tom? This uh, tells me the address of what I want to look at. If mm -hmm. I want to look at this star, uh -huh. it tells me where to look. Wow. That's really cool. He needs a computer to have the address of, say, a planet or a star, and that tells him where to point the telescope at. Right. Wow, that is really cool. And why do you have a clock way over there? Well, I have to tell the time. This is star time. Ooh, star time? Exactly. It's oh. called a sidereal clock. Ooh, a sidereal clock. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, you can't look at stars during the day. <laughs> Ooh, and what are all these buttons? These are to move the telescope. I have to point, move the scope to the star or object I want to look at. Ooh, N-E-S-W. North, East, South, West? That's right. Whoa, cool. And Tom, do you mind if we like operate the telescope and maybe make something move? Sure, let's open up the dome first. Cool. Would you push that button, please? This button? Yes. All right, here we go. Really cool. <laughs> Thanks for letting me do that. And uh, what else does the telescope do? Well, we have to move the dome around. We have to point it in different directions. Huh. Wait here a second. Let me let me show you. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? What do you think of that? Wow, that was awesome! Thank you so much for showing me this awesome telescope! Glad to have you here. All right, see you later! So long. Bye-bye! Bye. Whoa, check it out! We're at the Astronomical Museum! Yeah, and at this place, they have a lot of really cool old gadgets that they used to use to learn about outer space. Shall we? Look at these! Whoa, they look like wheels! Yeah, like wheels on a car. <laughs> but actually, these are wheels that are on the dome, so then the dome can spin around. So cool! <laughs> Whoa, yeah! I know what this is. It kind of looks like a telescope, doesn't it? Yeah! Ooh! Yeah, whoa, you can see stars with this, planets, whoa, other galaxies maybe. Oh, cool. Whoops, excuse me. <laughs> whoa, look. This is a really big piece of glass. Wow. Yeah, remember how telescopes work? Yeah, you have a mirror and another mirror and light bounces back and then eventually after it bounces off a couple mirrors then it goes into the eyepiece and this piece of glass used to have silver on it so then it was really shiny like a mirror <laughs> oh speaking of mirrors look there's a mirror right over there whoa whoa hello yeah this mirror came from a real telescope a very old one, of course. Yeah, because we're at a museum. Well, shall we keep learning about telescopes and outer space? Yeah. Whoa, check it out. Another telescope. And this is the 150 foot solar telescope. Solar means sun. Yeah, this telescope, you can look at the sun. Okay, before we go in, I have to tell you, Never look at the sun unless you have a solar telescope, okay? It's very important. It's not good for our eyes. <laughs> good job. All right, let's go. 
Whoa! Whoa! Cool! Check this out! Whoa! Look at all of these charts! Whoa, and graphs! <laughs> Ooh, and some pictures of the sun! Yeah, we're definitely in the right place to find the solar telescope. Let's see, where could it be? Hmm. <gasps> Whoa! Cool! Yeah, here it is! <laughs> it is so cool. And remember how I said it's a 150-foot solar telescope? Yeah, that's because the telescope itself is 150 feet tall. Yeah, that's really tall. That's about 50 meters. Whoa! All right. You never want to look directly at the sun, okay? And the only reason why we're going to be able to see the sun is because we're using a solar telescope. Not a normal telescope, a solar telescope. All right, are you ready? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, whoa, check it out! Whoa, do you see this? Yeah! This is a live image of our sun! Yeah! This light is coming down and hitting this white piece of paper. Yeah, so we can see our sun right now. This is so cool. Whoa, I love solar telescopes. Yeah. Whoa, I think we're in outer space. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Blast off thousands of miles an hour. Using all of that big rocket power It's so loud, oh you just can't ignore it See you later as we fly out of orbit I'm a rocket that can take you into outer space Maybe you and aliens will come face to face I'll take you on a journey to the stars and back Making our own way cause we ain't got no track And so we need to use a seatbelt There's no gravity we are searching for Something planetary heading home for Earth We do it gradually gotta get back home To humanity Blast off thousands of miles an hour Using all of that big rocket power It's so loud, oh you just can't ignore it See you later as we fly Far away in outer space Blast off from the base Taking off to outer space Fly my rocket far away Flying far away in outer space Blast off from the base Taking off to outer space Hasn't this been so much fun learning about outer space and telescopes together? Yeah! Hey, do you know how many planets are in our solar system? Yeah, there's actually eight. All right, so first we have our sun. Yeah, and then we have Mercury, <laughs> Venus, Earth, that's our planet, <laughs> Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune! Whoa! And all of these planets rotate around our sun. And we are in the Milky Way galaxy. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> wow, wasn't that so much fun today? Yeah, I had a great day with you learning about outer space. Yeah, aren't telescopes really cool? Yeah, so cool being able to see into outer space, seeing some planets, stars, and all sorts of cool things. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I 
P P I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> And today we're at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. We are going to explore space junk, space rockets, and have so much fun. Will you come with me? Well, let's go. Hey, check it out, a rocket garden. Do you know what a rocket is? It's a vehicle that launches stuff into space so that we can learn about other planets and galaxies and stars. Hey, will you count the rockets with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And do you see the big one laying on its side? Nine, there are nine rockets. Hey, let's get a closer look, come on. rocket right here. Can you see it? It's called the Delta II. Isn't that a cool color blue? Whoa, this rocket has gone to space over 150 times. That's a lot of times. And if you look at the top, you can see the American flag. And if you look even higher, it has a shark face. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? It's a shark rocket. Wow, gone to space a lot. That's a hard working shark rocket. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Come on. Wow, the space shuttle Atlantis. Let's go inside and get a closer look. Come on. all the way to space, and it's called the flight deck. Astronauts can sit in there, and there's all kinds of buttons and controls so that they can navigate through space. You know what's really cool and what really helps them navigate? Do you see those white holes? It's kind of hard to see. Well, those holes track stars. They're called the star trackers. Have you ever looked up into the night sky and looked at stars? Can you imagine if you looked up and saw a space shuttle? Whoa, that would be amazing. It's so cool to look at. There's a lot of different shapes. I see a red triangle up there. Circles, squares. It kind of looks like a puzzle. Huh. Wow, let's keep going. Oh, check this out. It's a live video of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. We can get a little more information. Here, let me move it so you can see it a little better. Is that good? All right. Hmm, what should we learn about? Ooh, the mid deck. What happens in there, I wonder? Oh, this is where the astronauts do their cooking and eating and sleeping. They actually make food and sleep and live on the shuttle just like you do at home. That's so cool. And, oh, the flight deck. Huh, there's some astronauts right there. View features, yes please. Oh, see, that's inside. You can see the seats where the astronauts sit, and there's controllers and buttons and switches so that the commander and the pilot can control and steer the space shuttle. 
Whoa. I cannot imagine sitting in a space shuttle and not pressing all of those buttons. <laughs> that would be really hard to do. Wow. Hey, do you want to get a closer look of a flight deck? Well, let's blast off and go. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Welcome to the flight deck. Oh, there's a lot to look at, isn't there? Well, the front part is called the forward station. And the back part is called the aft station. And aft means rear, so the back. Wow, I think I'm going to sit down. Oh. Whoa, OK, look at me. I'm Pilot Mika. Pilot Mika, getting ready to go on a mission. Let's go on this flight together. <laughs> Woo, I can press all of these buttons because it's just pretend it's not real. So let me just get that uh, ADI landing gear, get the nose in place. Check the cabin, enable, pinch, so one, two, three, power on, power on, power on, power on, power on. Here we go! I can see so many stars! Whoa! Being a pilot of a space shuttle is really fun! <laughs> Whoa, there's more buttons back here! It must take a long time to learn what all of these buttons and controls and knobs mean. I wonder how long it takes an astronaut to learn what every little button is for. Whoa. Huh. Kind of looks like something you would use on a video game. And there's a whole other side. Look at these screens. There's lots of numbers on these screens. Look, oil, fuel. What happens if the space shuttle runs out of gas? Are there space gas stations? <laughs> Whoa! There's more stars over there. Wow! Oh, I think we're coming in for a landing. Everyone hold on tight. We're here. We landed nice and safe. Thank you, Pilot Mika. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> hey, up here. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Blast off! Woo! <laughs> that was really fast and really fun. <sighs> hey, now we're at the bottom of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. This is really neat. We were able to see the top, and now we're at the bottom. Whoa, look at the wing. It's really, really big. Have you ever made a paper airplane? You know how when you make a paper airplane, you can make it to go really fast, or really slow, or really high, or really low, depending on how you fold the paper and make the wings? Well, engineers had to work really hard to figure out how to make wings that would soar into space. This is a delta wing. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> oh, come down here. That says United States. And the United States flag is right there. See? Red, white, and blue. <laughs> Whoa, come look at this. Whoa, do you know what this is? This is a smaller version of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. See, it's right there. It even says Atlantis under that American flag. So see the orange part in the middle right there? That is the external tank. And that's what holds all of the fuel to help the Space Shuttle go into space. And there's two rockets on the side. Will you count them with me? One, two, two rockets. And these rockets are rocket boosters to help the space shuttle boost into space like this. Three, two, one. <laughs> Let's look over here. Whoa. I bet you've seen 
these before, but way smaller. Yeah, and they're really big tires. And these tires right here actually went to space. <laughs> See? The picture right here? There's three sets of landing gear on a space shuttle, each with two tires. Learning about space is so fun. Come on. How big this telescope is! Have you ever seen a telescope this big before? <laughs> this is the Hubble Space Telescope. Do you know what a telescope is? It's a device that allows you to see things really far away. So, oh, like I can see the Space Shuttle Atlantis way over there. <laughs> but this one is massive and it's orbited over 300 miles from Earth, allowing us to see images of space. <laughs> In fact, this telescope has sent hundreds of thousands of images of space back to Earth. That way we can see what space looks like. And see these things on the side? They kind of look like wings, but they're solar panels. They attract the sunlight and then turns it into usable energy. This is the coolest telescope I have ever seen. <laughs> I love space. Hello, I'm a space shuttle. <laughs> I was so much fun today learning about space shuttles and space rockets, especially the space shuttle Atlantis. You got to go really close to a real space shuttle that went to space. What an amazing day. Thanks for learning with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. I'm blasting off. Three, two, one. Hey! It's me, Blippi, and look at all the items that I have. Whoa! So many random things. But hey, in this video, we are going to do the Blippi Velocity Race. Yeah! That's where we put a lot of these items on this ramp. Yeah, see how this ramp is at an angle? Yeah, we're going to let them go at the same time and see what item reaches the bottom first. Okay. So let's go with heat number one, the slow pokes. <laughs> we have this sweet, colorful beach ball, and then we have this really light balloon. Okay, all right. What one do you think is gonna reach the bottom first? I think I know. Three, two, one. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah. The beach ball went to the bottom first. Okay, let's let them just, you know, get warmed up for later. And then we'll use some more items. Yeah, I'm sure all these items are gonna be a lot faster. Okay, here's another set of items. They're actually the same item. Water bottles. Yeah, but this one is empty. And this one is half full. <laughs> all right. Let's put them on their side, and then let's let them roll down. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Three, two, one. Whoa, yeah. Wow. The half full water bottle totally beat the empty water bottle. How do you feel after your race, half full water bottle? Oh, Blippi, I feel amazing. I can't believe I've won. Great. Well, it's gonna move on to the next race. Half full water bottle versus extremely bright orange duct tape. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? Ready to race. Are you ready? You know I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah! The water bottle rolled down. 
way to the bottom, way quick, way faster than the duct tape. Perfect, so now it can move on to the next round. Have you ever wondered why these items, some go fast and some go slow? Yeah, it's because their velocity, yeah, velocity is basically the speed at which they're rolling down, the speed and the direction. Yeah, there's a lot of things that actually determine what the item's velocity is. I mean, like, think about it like this. There could be a lot of friction and it like can't slide or maybe it rolls compared to, you know, maybe there's sharp edges. There's just so many things that, you know, determine how fast, how much velocity these items have. So let's let these two items go. We have orange over here and apple over here. And let's see who wins. Go! Whoa! They were actually really close to each other. I don't even know who won. Let's see that instant replay. All right, let's pick two more items. We have a soccer ball or a football, depends where you live, and the half full water bottle, the champion. Okay, let's see who wins. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm good to go. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right. And away we go. Whoa! I cannot believe it. The half full water bottle wins the velocity race. Whoa! And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Learning about velocity and how fast that water bottle went and how the ramp is angled. But yeah, if the ramp was flat, it definitely wouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah. Hey, can you think of a machine that is actually really fast? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me give you a hint. Okay, this machine does not go on the ground. Well, it does, but then it goes in the air. Yeah. Whoa, I hear one. Yeah, maybe you've got to fly in one before. Fly? Yeah, they fly in the air. Yeah, airplanes. Yeah, airplanes are really fast. And speaking of speed and velocity, I think you and I should watch the airplane video. to look 
look up and see its wings waving down at me. Hey, airplanes! Airplanes, airplanes, flying all around the sky. Airplanes, airplanes, flying way up high. so much fun learning about velocity with you and it was really fun seeing all these great items compete at the great blippy velocity race <laughs> but there's only one champion and today that was water <laughs> wow <laughs> well this is the end of this video but if you want to watch more of my videos all you have to do is search for my name will you spell my name with me B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. <laughs>Today, I'm at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. Look, I'm even wearing a space suit because I'm going on a very special space mission. My plan is to experience a spacewalk, experience landing and driving on Mars, and going to Mars base. But it's all simulation style, which means I'm not really going to space, but it's sure gonna feel like it. Will you come with me? Oh, let's go. Hey! Hi! Who are you? I'm Daniel. Oh, hi Daniel, I'm Mika. Hi! <laughs> so what do you do here? I'm an educator here at Kennedy Space Center. So oh. I teach kids all about science, technology, history, a lot of really cool topics. Wow, you must know a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is this? Uh, this is actually a 3D model of the International Space Station, the ISS. ISS, okay, so that stands for International mm -hmm. Space... Station. Station. You got ISS. it. ISS, cool. Oh yeah. Now, it's really, really big. It's about as big as a football field. Whoa, that is really, really big. Yeah. And what's this long part in the middle here? So the long part in the middle is called the truss segment. Oh, the truss, okay, yeah. and what does that do? So that holds the things like the solar panels, a lot of cool instruments and experiments. The astronauts usually just live in the middle. Uh -huh. They don't usually go out there all that often. Why would they need to go out there? Well, sometimes you gotta repla uh, repair stuff or replace things. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, something we also have that's really, really cool here is a simulator that'll kind of show you how astronauts actually train to go out there. Really? Yeah. Could I try? Totally. Oh, let's do it. Whoa, Daniel, what's all this? So these are all our tools and equipment and replacement parts that we're gonna use in our simulator. Wow, that's gonna be awesome. Oh yeah. What's all in here? So there's tons of different things. We have different wrenches and different mm -hmm. equipment. One that's very important that you're gonna use today is this one right here. Oh, hey, it looks like the letter T. Yeah, that's actually where it gets its name. It's called the T-handle wrench. Oh, makes sense, T-handle wrench, oh, okay. Yeah. We actually have a bigger version of that. It's this one right here. Whoa, and look at this. It looks like the letter L. And that's what its name is, L-handle wrench. Oh, L-handle wrench. Works out. Easy to remember. Oh yeah. Oop. This way. There you go. You got it. Okay. Now we're just gonna use this little one today, but okay. we have other things that we can use to replace stuff. We have something right here called a dust environment. This Ooh. one is to try to capture micrometeorites and particles in space and dust and debris. Wow. We have this little one right here. It's an electronics module. It's oh. for computers and stuff like that. Looks complicated. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm gonna give you an easy one to deal with. It's called a vibration detection system. 
Whoa, what does that do? Careful, it's very heavy, okay? okay? So that detects if the station shakes or shimmies or anything kind of crazy like that. And that so would be great. bad. Yes, okay. it would be very bad. Okay, so this okay. is super important. Yes. Okay. So what's gonna happen is that when I put you in the chair, okay? Mm -hmm. We're gonna find that on the truss, uh -huh. and then you're gonna replace it. Wow, cool, okay, yeah. I can't wait. And I'm gonna give you this little one uh -huh. to replace it. We can test it right now so you get a little better understanding before we go. Okay, okay? let's test it out. So you're gonna grab onto that, uh -huh. okay? Now when you put it inside, it's kind of like a screwdriver. So okay. You put it in and push it straight down. There you go. Okay. And then you're gonna turn it halfway. Halfway, like that? Yep, there you go. Okay. Now when you do that, it's gonna come out and it's gonna fall down. Okay, So good make to sure know. not to let it fall on you, okay? okay. Then I'm gonna give you the new one. You're gonna give me the old one. Okay. Okay. And then when you put the new one in, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna push and half turn. The other way? Yep. Ah. And then that new one will be in place and you've replaced something. Oh, awesome. Okay, well, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, buckling in. Oh, the seatbelt is very much like the one you would use on an airplane. Yeah, exactly. Okay, nice okay. and tight. Now, you're in our microgravity chair. This is what we're gonna use to kind of simulate our spacewalk. Yeah, that's right, okay. microgravity. And for a spacewalk, you use your hands, not your feet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, I want you to have your head all the way back against like that little okay. pillow. Okay, I'm gonna rock you back. It's gonna feel like being in a dentist chair. Ooh, okay. okay. So, rocking you back. Okay. All right. Feel okay? Yeah, nice and cozy. You ready? Yeah. Okay, starting in three, two, one. Now it's really loud, Ooh, okay? Yeah, it's a little loud. Yeah. Now I'm gonna push you underneath. Whoa. Okay. Now you can reach your arms up. Okay. Okay. And I want you to catch the truss. There, so got you got it. it. Now you can try moving up and down. Okay. Just use your arms though, remember, no feet. Ooh. Yep, so you're at the bottom. Now try moving all the way up to the top. Notice how easy it is to move? Yeah, yeah. it's really fun. Yeah. Cool. And it feels like I'm floating. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, I want you to come right here to station 108. Okay? 108. Because we got oh. a job to do, not just having fun, okay? Yeah, here it is, 108, ready for my job. Yeah, so we're gonna replace this instrument right here, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna give you some tools, remember? This is awesome. I'm working on the truss like a real astronaut. <laughs> so do you see the old vibration unit in front of you? Yep. I'm gonna give you the T-handle wrench. Okay. And you're gonna take it out. Remember, don't let it fall on you. All right. Okay, so push yeah, up. Yeah, this needs to be replaced. Good thing I'm here. I am very good at replacing these old things. Ugh. There you go. Old one's out. Next. I'll take the old one. <laughs> Here's the new one. Okay. okay. Whoop, turn it around. You got it. Okay, that goes there. Yep. Okay. Go there, push it in. Push Whoop. it straight up. Turn your handle wrench a little tiny bit more to the right. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. There you go. Now we're And then talking. let go. And you're all good. All right there, buddy. That one's good to go. Perfect. <laughs> I'll take the wrench back. All right. Okay. But hey, we finished our job. Awesome. Good job. I'm going to get you out of the chair, okay? Okay. So. Whoa. Stay right there. You can let go. Okay. okay? You're floating away from the station. Oh, no. Bye. <laughs> wow. I could take a nap in this chair. Well, you, you can now that you've done your job, <laughs> okay? But bringing you back down to earth. Three, okay. two, one. Welcome oh, back. That was a quick ride. Oh yeah. Hello Earth. Okay. And there you wow. go. Thank you so much for letting me experience that. Yeah, no problem. That was really cool. So I got to feel what it would be like to do a spacewalk. Now I want to know what it feels like to travel to Mars. To Mars? Do you have that here? We do. Really? Yeah. Oh, can we do it? Totally. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Uh, come on. So come on over this way. Oh. I can't wait to see this. Oh, yeah. Come on. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, look over there. It says Lander Rover Simulator 1. That's so cool. Yeah. So over here, 
we have a really amazing simulator. Wow. Okay. Yeah. This is going to show you how you're going to fly to Mars, how you're going to land on Mars, and then how you're going to drive <laughs> on Mars. That's amazing. Okay. And remember, yeah. it's a simulation, so it's not real, but it's going to make me feel like I'm really traveling to Mars. Yeah. Now, we have two different positions, okay? Because whenever we do anything with NASA, we try to have a buddy system. Always okay. have a backup. So okay. two people. Yes, two people. So we have a commander mm -hmm. who's going to fly the thing. That's uh, you. Yes, okay. okay. And then we have a pilot who's going to drive it. In this oh. case, it's a robot, so you're okay. Wow, so you yeah. fly there, land, and then you can drive? Yeah. That's so cool. Right? Do you want to go inside? Yes, I do. Okay, so Hi. head on down the stairs. Okay. okay. And then you're going to sit in this seat right here. Okay? Oh. There you go. Whoa. It's cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, we're going to make sure you're as safe as possible. Okay. Okay. So if you look up above, you'll probably notice something very similar. Oh, yeah. It looks like a seat that you would sit in on a roller coaster. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We want to make sure you're as safe as possible. Okay. That's okay. Good. So I'm going to lock you in. Okay. Okay. What I want you to do, put your arms up and you're about to go on a roller coaster. Okay. Okay. And then the restraints are going to come down. There okay. we go. Nice and secure. All good? Feel yeah. safe? Okay. Now, what's going to happen is when I close this door, we're going to start the simulator and you're going to fly and do all the cool stuff on Mars. Okay, okay. awesome. You ready? Yes, I'm so ready. Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to close the door now. All Bye. right. See you soon. I'm going to Mars. <laughs> Whoa! Wow! It really feels like I'm getting ready to go to Mars! <laughs> this is amazing! There I go! Welcome back. That was amazing. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? You did wow. a great job. Thank you. Now I'm going to get you out of there, okay? okay? So first things first, the restraints. We're going to raise those up, okay? There you go. Whoa. Good job. Okay. You can come on out this way. Be very Whoa. careful, though. <laughs> you can use the handrail. Yeah. That was wild. Did you see me flip upside down? <laughs> Whoa. You okay? Yeah, I'm good, I'm okay. good. <laughs> so is that what it feels like to land on Mars and then drive on Mars? A little bit, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a good wow. simulation, right? Yeah, that was really fun. Thanks for letting me experiment oh, with no that. Oh, no problem, yeah. So for that, you got to drive to our Mars Base 1 uh -huh. in the simulation. Yep. Do you want to see our simulated Mars base that we actually have here? Oh, yeah, that's last on my list. Awesome. All right. Want to go? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> cool. Come on. Come on over this way. Whoa. <gasps> wow. So welcome to our Mars Base 1 Botany Lab. Oh, thank you. I've never been in a space like this before. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, it's very cool. Lots of plants in here. Yeah, we have tons of different varieties of plants because we want to see what types of things we could grow on Mars. Oh, why would you want to see what can grow on Mars? That's a really good question. So if we're going to go to Mars, like we plan to do, so we can work and do scientific experiments, mm -hmm. we got to test what we could have to eat on Mars. Because we can't oh. bring all the food we're gonna take there. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, growing on Mars is really difficult. It's not like Earth. Oh. Yeah. Is there not dirt on Mars? Well, there's dirt on Mars, but when it comes to Mars, it doesn't have the right things that plants need to grow. Oh. So, do you happen to know what things plants need to grow? Yeah. They need light and water 
and dirt or soil packed with nutrients and you need the right temperature. Yeah, so they need tons and tons of stuff and it's all very specific yeah. to the type of plant. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to Mars, it has dirt, but there's no nutrients in it. Oh. So if I just went outside and grabbed any old dirt, it's not really gonna simulate how well it works on Mars. Oh, well what does it feel like? What's the dirt feel like on Mars? Well, I have a really good example. So this is oh. some of the stuff that we use. Oh, cool. It's a simulation of what Martian dirt or soil is like. So this isn't really from Mars? No, it's not really from Mars. Huh. Look at this. Whoa. Kind of feels like a bunch of little rocks or little pebbles. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. So it's like a lot of clay and iron. It's not good for plants, sadly. So we have to add in nutrients, plant food, so that way they can grow a lot easier. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Now, like I was saying, we've grown tons of stuff in here. Yeah, I can uh, tell. We've grown things like lettuces and even tomatoes. <gasps> I love tomatoes! Wow, can you imagine eating a tomato that grew on Mars? <laughs> it's wow. super cool, right? Yeah. Now, other things that we've grown I wanna show you are some of our peas. So come on over this way. So these are some of the peas that we've actually grown. We've tested different types of plants, but we also want to test how those plants grow in different conditions. Okay. So some of the things you mentioned before of growing include water. We have water in the trays. That helps them grow. All right. And then we have some nutrients in some of the arcelite, the dirt in there. Mm -hmm. And then we have different types of light even. Oh, different types of light. Oh, yeah, it does look different. Yes, yeah, so you can put your hand underneath. So down here we have like this weird purple magenta. Ooh, I love purple. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's got red and blue little lights. And then up here on top, we have oh. some white light with it. It's a little bit different. Yeah, it looks very different. Yeah. So we want to test how the plants grow in different light conditions. Oh, like these plants up top are growing a lot higher than these plants here on the bottom. Yes. So hey, we know now for the peas to use more of these lights rather than these ones. Oh, just always experimenting. Yeah, and you can even see some of the ones that we've Whoa. kept growing even longer. They're super, super high because they have that nice light. See, they're growing towards the light? Yeah. Wow, they really like this light. Yeah, yeah. Wow, well, thank you so much for teaching me all about space and what it would feel like to land and drive on Mars and spacewalk and now Mars base? Yeah. <laughs> You've been awesome, thank you. Thank you. Well, have a good day. I'll You're see you fine. around. Bye. Thanks, Daniel. Let's go. Wow, we did everything on my list. What a great day. We got to experience a spacewalk, experience landing and driving on Mars, <laughs> and we got to go to Mars base. Wow, space is so amazing. Thanks for learning with me today. <laughs> well, that's the end of this mission and the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. <gasps> Will you spell my name with me on Mars? <laughs> okay. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Oh, I gotta go. That's my ride. Bye. It's me, Blippi. Oh, and look at where I'm at. Yeah, today I'm at Moxie in Santa Barbara, California. And this place is so much fun. It has a lot of cool science things in there. Yeah, today you and I will learn a lot about some colors. Ooh, blue and orange and other great colors too. And other fun things we can see with our eyes. Whoa, like light. <laughs> cool. This is going to be so much fun. Let's go. This is the innovation workshop. Innovation means when you take something old and you make it new or you make it way better. This is gonna be so much fun. I wonder what we're gonna make. Let's go. <laughs> oh, hey, Hi. who are you? My name is Kevin. Oh, nice to meet you. Welcome to the innovation workshop. Great, thanks for having me. I'm Blippi. And what are we gonna do here? Well, we're gonna design and build our own LED flashlight. LED flashlight? I love flashlights. Cool. They allow you to see at night, right? Yeah. Cool. All right. Do you have one made? Yeah, this one's made already. Let me show you. I'm going to turn it on. 
Whoa, cool. Can I check yeah, it out? Yeah, go for it. Whoa, look, really small. And it doesn't really look like a normal flashlight, but I can definitely peek in the little cracks and crevices. <laughs> cool. Well, how do we make one of these? Well, first let's take a piece of wood. Oh, sit okay. down here. All right. And you got a piece of wood right there. Okay. Yeah. And we're going <laughs> to take some of this conductive tape. Oh, okay. It's shiny. Yeah. And we're going to put a piece of it on each side of the wood. Okay. So this tape is metal? It's got conductive material in it, like metal. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And so you got one side done. Yep. Wow. And now then let's do the other side too. Okay. Put one on the other side. Just like the first side. There we go. Yeah, one on that side, one on that side. <laughs> Great, yours looks just like mine. Now let's yeah. take a battery. Okay, here's one right here, a battery. A little battery, and we're gonna clip it to one side of our flashlight. Okay, all right, here's a clip, a little clip. Okay, now Perfect. it's the fun part. We gotta pick an LED, a little light bulb. Oh, yeah! And we've yeah. got all these colors. Whoa, cool! They're really small. Looks like they have red. Ooh, I could pick from a yellow one. Oh, a blue one. Whoa, a white one or a green one. Hmm, maybe I'll do the green today. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do red. All right. Whoa. So now we're gonna take these little wires coming out of the light bulb uh -huh. and stick it over the tape. Okay. Oh, so it has to touch the conductive tape. Exactly. All so right. So mine's not turning on yet though. Is yours turning on? No, it's not. It's not working. So here's the last step. We've got to flip these clips down. Oh, that makes sense to complete the circuit. To complete the circuit, right. Check oh, it out, you got Kevin. it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that was awesome. Thank you so much for teaching us how to make an LED flashlight. Well, thanks for <laughs> building with me. All right. Well, I should keep exploring. Cool, have fun out there. See ya. <laughs> See ya. Whoa, what is this? Whoa, it looks like a white cube stacked on top of other white cubes. Whoa, and look at this. Looks like someone was here before me. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't I try and make them connect? All right, how about like this? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. All right, there we go. Now maybe... I can put another cube. Yeah, a cube is just a bunch of squares. You see? Yeah. See a square and 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 a square. And you put a bunch of squares together and it makes a cube. Six sides to a cube. All right, there we go. Whoa, we did it. Whoa, whoa. Looks like someone made a really cool tower. Oh no! Well, it was really cool. Well, how about we rebuild it and make a new tower? All right, let's start with some squares, like this blue square and this red square and this green square. I don't see another big one, but if you connect them, look at that! Yeah! Now it's a triangle. Whoa! <laughs> wow, square. Triangle. Whoa, pretty cool. All right, let's flip it up. All right, now maybe we can put some things on the top, some triangles. Whoa, and then if they were really big, you can put them all together and then it would have a roof. Whoa, all right, what colors do we have? Orange. Ooh, we have green. We have red. Whoa, ooh, we have purple. Wow, so colorful. Ooh, look at this one. Yeah, the color yellow. Whoa, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Whoa, all right, I'll lay these flat. <laughs> now someone else can build their own colorful fort. <laughs> Whoa, so pretty and colorful. Whoa, oh, what does this one look like? Whoa. This one is also very colorful. How many colors do you see in there? I don't know, but there's a lot. <laughs> All right, whoa, let's see. Looks like another one. Whoa, there's even circles in there. Do you see all those little teeny circles? Wow, circles are so cute and small 
and colorful in there. Oh, here's one more. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, cool, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> 996, 997, 998, 999. <laughs> Whoa, cool, this place is awesome. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, it looks like a steering wheel. <laughs> Whoa, like a steering wheel on a vessel, like we're sailing in the ocean. <laughs> Whoa, do you see that? Yeah, when you spin this, that spins. But when you stop it, that stops. All right, let's spin it to the right. Whoa, now that's spinning to the right. Let's spin it to the left. Whoa, now that's spinning to the left. Wow, and did you notice how colorful that is? Yeah, and sometimes when you mix colors, depending on the color, it makes a new color. Like say, if you mix blue and yellow, yeah, when you mix them, it makes green. Whoa, woohoo, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's keep exploring. Whoa, whoa, speaking of colors, this wall is so colorful. Whoa! Looks like we have some green lights, some red, some pink, ooh, and some orange. What does it say? I heart Moxie, Museum of Exploration and Innovation. That's where we're at. Woohoo! All right. Do you see when I pull this out? Yeah. It doesn't light up, but when you put it in, it does light up. It's because there's some light behind here, and then the light bounces off the edges and the sides, and then it comes out the end. Whoa, there you go. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Whoa, look, <laughs> it looks like me. Wow, see my orange glasses? Ooh, and my bow tie? Oh, hello, Blippi. <laughs> All right, let's use a paintbrush. Really big. Well, let's use some green. Ooh, look at this. Wee! Yeah, I can draw with my finger. Whoa, wow, so great. Ooh, what about a spray can? Let's do red. There we go. Whoa, <laughs> yeah! Wee! <laughs> This is looking really good. Oh, wait a second. Why don't we make me a body? All right, there we go. All right. And then an arm, another arm, a leg, and a leg. There we go. There's a hand, there's another hand, there's my foot, there's my other foot. Whoa! Oh, and my hat. Wee! <laughs> All right, last but not least, the orange on my hat. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, how does that look? Really good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow, yeah, this. You can actually draw on it. Yeah, let's see, let's test it out. Here we go, okay. Yeah, some spray paint. Okay, let's actually uh, make a red background. Actually, you know what? Let's erase that. Whoa, do you see it up there? Whoa, this is so cool. All right, how about let's spell Blippi. Yeah, you know how to spell Blippi, right? All right, let's get a blue and whoop. Here we go, ready? And watch up there at the same time. Here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. <laughs> Flippy! Whoa! Good job! All right, this is so much fun. Are you having fun? I am too! Whoa! Cool! Wow, what a cool globe! Yeah! A globe or a sphere is a circle, but three dimensional. Yeah! And it says my name. Wow! Wasn't this so much fun today learning about science? Yeah! We learned about some colors and yeah, light, things that we can see with our eyes. Whoa! <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? Hold on. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi!
Hey, good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Rah, rah, rah. laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. Did you see what I was just doing? <laughs> I was acting like a dinosaur. Rah, rah. <laughs> That's so silly. Yeah, and today we're at Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History in Santa Barbara, California. And I have a great idea. Why don't you and I go inside and see if we can find some dinosaurs? Yeah, let's go! Wow, I'm having a lot of fun! Whoa. <gasps> Look at this! Prehistoric forest? Wow, prehistoric? Yeah, that was a really long time ago. And actually, at a point of prehistoric times, there was dinosaurs! I love dinosaurs. Do you love dinosaurs? <laughs> yeah! Did you hear that? Yeah, that was a dinosaur roaring! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. What is this? Wow, looks like a really colorful book. I wonder what's inside. Whoa. <laughs> All right. <gasps> wow, there's a letter, a message. It says, find these five dinosaurs in the prehistoric forest. We're there right now. Whoa. Then choose your favorite dino and color it. Whoa, cool. All right, looks like we have to find these dinosaurs. Whoa, cool. There's three dinosaurs. Ooh, four and five. All right, let's find all five of these dinosaurs and then we'll color one. This is gonna be so much fun. Yeah. dinosaur just roared! So cool! Do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? Hmm, it does have plates on its back. Huh, I wonder if it's in this book. All right, is it this dinosaur? No, let's see. Oh, what about this one? Definitely not. Could be this one. Close, but that's not it. Huh, what about that one? No. <gasps> is it this one? Yeah! You can tell by all those plates. Oh, I know what kind of dinosaur this is. It's a stegosaurus. Yeah, I could tell because the plates on its back. Every stegosaurus have at least 17 plates. Yeah, or more. So cool. And they actually are herbivores. That means they eat plants. I like eating plants too. <laughs> yeah, like lettuce or Salad and spinach, yum! So healthy. <laughs> okay, hey, we should probably check this box off so we can keep track of what dinosaurs we find. All right, made a little X right there. Wow, perfect. Whoa, cool. All right, let's keep exploring and see what other dinosaurs we can find. Yeah, <laughs> see ya. Please do not touch or feed the dinosaurs. <laughs> okay, I definitely won't touch or feed the dinosaurs. Whoa, check it out, another dinosaur. Whoa, do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? Well, it looks like it has some horns. Oh, there's a baby right there. Hello, hey. All right, let's see if we can find the dinosaur in the book. Is it this dinosaur? Oh, yeah! You're right, it is! All right, we need to mark it off right here. Yeah! You know what kind of dinosaur that is? Yeah, it's a Triceratops. Do you know how we know? Yeah, come here, I'll show you. Wow! All right, do you see the horns? Yeah, let's count them together. One, two, three. 
three horns. Yeah, its name is Triceratops. Tri, T-R-I. Tri means three. Yeah, so this is a Triceratops. Wow, good job. <laughs> well, let's keep exploring and see what other kind of dinosaurs we can find. Yeah! Check it out, another dinosaur. Wow, this dinosaur looks so cool. Well, hey, let's see if this dinosaur is in our book. Whoa, hey, dinosaur. <laughs> All right, okay, well, it's not this one. Yeah, because this one's the Triceratops, remember? Yeah. All right, what about one of these two? Is it this one? Definitely not. What about this one? Oh, yeah, it does look like this one. Good job, we found another dinosaur. All right, let's check it off. Put a little X right there. Wow, awesome. <laughs> well, this dinosaur does look really cool, but I don't know the name of this dinosaur. Huh, I wonder what kind of dinosaur this is. Oh, hey, Hi. how are you? I'm Jenna, I'm the director of education. Wow, that's cool. So that means you know a lot about dinosaurs? I do know a lot about dinosaurs. Wow, well my friends and I were just trying to think of this dinosaur's name. Do you know its name? I do. This is an Eoplocephalus. Eoplocephalus, that's hard to say. Wow, do you know any cool facts about this dinosaur? I know a lot of cool facts about this dinosaur. Wow. It's covered in armor from its head all the way down to its tail. Wow. It's got spikes on its back, horns on its head, and even a club tail. Oh yeah, the club tail. Ooh, and the spikes and the horns? Wow, and the really thick armor skin. Why does this dinosaur have all of that? Yeah, this dinosaur has all of those features to protect it from predators. Whoa, that's really cool. Well, thank you so much for teaching us the name of this dinosaur and some fun facts. Is there any other dinosaurs that you could show us? Oh, absolutely. All right, let's go. <laughs> Another dinosaur, yeah! Whoa, this is a really cool looking dinosaur. Wow, should we check to see if it's in the book? Let's check. All right, <laughs> all right, let's see. Oh, well, it's not this dinosaur. We already found that dinosaur. Ooh, is it this dinosaur? No, okay, we found that one. Let's see, what about this dinosaur? Oh yeah! It is! Wow, good job! Thanks so much for helping us find this dinosaur. All right, let's check it off. There we go. Wow, that's awesome. Well, what kind of dinosaur is this? This is a Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus. Wow, that's a hard name to say. And what's that thing on its head? Is that a horn? It's actually not a horn. Oh. It's actually a sinus. A sinus? Like it connects to the nose? It connects to its nose. Wow, why do they have that? Well, they use it almost like a trombone. They suck in air and then they blow it out as a really loud, deep sound. Oh, I know what a trombone is. <laughs> cool. Whoa, and look at its mouth, it's really wide. Yeah, it's so it can hold hundreds of teeth. Oh, really? Like really strong, big, sharp, massive teeth? Well, actually more of a lot of little teeth. <laughs> oh, that's cool. What does it eat with its teeth? It eats lots and lots of plants, a lot of plants. Wow, really? And do they then grow in and then stay there forever? Well, no, they're constantly losing their teeth kind of like little kids do. And then new teeth grow in and they eat more plants. Wow, that is really cool. Thank you so much for teaching us about these two dinosaurs. <laughs> You're welcome, Blippi. I've got more dinosaur things to do today. All right, <laughs> see you later. Thank you so much. Wow, that was really nice of her. All right, so we found four dinosaurs, but we need to find five dinosaurs. So there must be one more dinosaur around here. <gasps> Another dinosaur. Wow, this dinosaur looks so big and furious. <laughs> All right, let's see if this dinosaur is in our book. 
All right, it's not that one. <laughs> okay, is it this one? Yeah, it's our last dinosaur. Good job. All right, let's check it off. There we go. Whoa, all right. Hey, do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? Yeah, it's a T-Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex. So big and fierce, but cute teeny little arms. Whoa. <laughs> and do you see its teeth? Yeah, they are very big and very sharp. Yeah, and they're actually shaped like a banana. Whoa. Wow. T-Rexes are so cool because their jaws are so strong. They're actually the most strongest jawed dinosaur that we know of. Wow, and actually, what we think now, the juveniles, the teenagers of T-Rexes, actually might have had some feathers. Wow, T-Rexes are so cool. <laughs> All right, now let's go pick a dinosaur and color it in. This is gonna be fun, yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Wow, wasn't that so much fun learning about those five dinosaurs? Wow, and they were all so big, and it was cool to learn about what they eat. Whoa, and their teeth. <laughs> all right, let's uh, decide which dinosaur we should color. <laughs> all right, let's see, the Triceratops, or one of these two. Huh, let's see, how about I was supposed to pick my favorite dinosaur out of these five. The T-Rex is pretty cool, but I don't know if I can pick my favorite because they're all so cool. Well, hey, why don't we color the Stegosaurus? So then we can color the plates all different colors. Wow. All right, first let's take the green one. Ooh, here you go, Stegosaurus. Ooh, nice green plate. Ooh, how about red? Whoa, there you go. Whoa, this is gonna be a very colorful Stegosaurus. Yeah, I used orange, one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> oh, we'll use my second other favorite color. Yeah, blue. There we go. Whoa, so colorful. Yeah, do you remember what Stegosauruses eat? Yeah, plants, because they're herbivores. Ooh, how about pink? Mm. <laughs> there you go, yeah, pink. Ooh, and let's do the last plate as purple. Whoa, look at that. Now that is a colorful Stegosaurus. All right, last but not least, a green scribble. Whee! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, hey, I have an idea. Why don't we take green and draw a plant right here? Yeah, like it's eating. Ooh, there you go. Kind of hard to see. <laughs> wow. What a great Stegosaurus. Very colorful. They didn't look like this back then, but it still looks really cool. Whoa! That was so much fun learning about dinosaurs with you. I sure do love dinosaurs. What magnificent creatures they were. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah, B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. All right, well, I'm gonna keep this book right here so then the next person that comes here, they can color one of their favorite dinosaurs. Yeah, all right, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa, hey, it's me, Blippy, and today, I'm at Discovery Cube in Los Angeles, California, and I am so excited to show you around. But first, I have someone really special to introduce to you. Hey, Blippi. Hey, Mika. <laughs> Hi, everyone. This is Mika, and she's my best friend. Oh, Blippi, you're my best friend. Oh, no, Mika, you're my best oh. friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to go in and explore Discovery Cube. Yeah, let's go. Whoa! Wee! Yeah! Whoa! Whoa. What are you doing, Mika? I'm being an airplane. Oh, me too. Whoa! I'm acting 
something like a big plane that carries passengers. Oh, wow! I'm going to be a really little plane. Now I'll be a jet that goes super fast. Oh, I want to see. Oh, <laughs> I'm so fast. Yeah, I love planes. Oh, check it out. What's this? Wow, we can make paper airplanes. Cool. Wow, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's start with blank white pieces of paper. Okay. Let's fold them. Fold them. Wow. I wonder who's is gonna fly faster and further. I don't know. <laughs> Probably yours. We'll have to race them. You're really good at this type of stuff, Mika. Aw, thanks, Flippy. <laughs> yeah. I love making paper airplanes. <laughs> oh, that's silly. <laughs> Whoa. Here Ooh. we go. Whoa. Just warming it up. <laughs> <laughs> yours looks so good. <laughs> All right, and I am almost done. Whoa. Does it look good? I think your plane's gonna go really far. <laughs> really? Check it out! Wow. wow! All right, shall we go see whose plane is more aerodynamic? Ooh, come on! <laughs> Whoa! Wow. Cool launch pads! Launch pad, and look at these rings! Wow! Maybe this launch pad will launch our paper airplanes and we can make it through the rings! Oh, okay! Good All right, Flippy. Three, two, two one, one, go! Whoa! Whoa. Yeah! Wow. That was awesome! That was so fun! Let's do that again! Okay. Whoa! Wow! Yeah! Do you sure. want to switch launch pads? Sure! Okay. Wow. I'm going to see if mine can go through the big orange circle. Okay, I'm going to aim for that circle too. Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, two one. one. Whoa, we both missed. That is so silly. <laughs> that was fun racing. Yeah. Should we go over there? Oh, yeah, come on. Looks like we can put some things on our arms and act like airplanes wow. together. Oh, like these? Yeah. Oh, here comes the wind. Whoa, Whoa. Whoa. so windy. Get your to stand up with these on. Yeah. I think the wind was catching it. It was, and it was pushing us back a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Whoa, wow. check it out. We're at the competition zone. Yeah, here we get to build our own cars and we can race each other on the car track. <laughs> yeah. Who do you think's gonna win? I don't know. I guess we have to see. Yeah, come on. I'm guessing you're gonna win, Mika. Well, you're really good. You never know. You're pretty fast. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. So the first step, we need to choose a chassis or a base. Yeah. Okay. What base hmm. are you gonna use? Let's see. Well, oh, yeah. A blue base with an orange stripe. Yeah, kind of like my blue shirt with an orange suspender. Yeah. Whoa. That is a great choice for you, Blippi. <laughs> what about you, Mika? Oh, I really like this one with the two different color blues. See? A light blue and a dark blue stripe in the middle. Whoa, cool. Yeah, I like that. All right, mm. now for the top. Choose That's a body it. for your car. Yeah. Mm. Top, a body? Cool. A body of a car. I like this blue one. Oh, cool. You're going to go all blue, huh? Yeah. Ooh, and then this yeah, the body? I will do an orange car with a blue stripe. Yeah, the opposite of the bottom. <laughs> so cool. That's going to look right. really nice together. Oh, thanks. Looks like we connect them like this, huh? Oh. Whoa, cool. They're magnetic, so they stick really well together. Yeah. And what does every car need? Hmm. Wheels. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's pick out some wheels and tires. Right here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like we need four of them. Probably the same number that your car has. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here we go. All right. Woo Check it out. Yeah. They're ready to race. Oh, Mika. Looks like we can. Add some weight to make it heavier. Oh. Remove 
weights to make it lighter. Wow, that's I wonder a if that good will idea. help. Should we try? Um, sure. I'll try a really small one. What are you gonna try? Hmm, I'll try one. Okay. Two. All right. I guess. Oh, <laughs> a scale. Okay. Let's see. Mine weighs 101.7 grams. Wow. All right, what about yours? Let's find out. 106.5. Even though my car's way bigger. Yeah. <laughs> All right, shall we? Yeah, let's race it. Wow, check it out. This is the racetrack. Hey, it matches my car really well. Oh, yeah, it does. Check it out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Wow. All right. Now we're at the start of the racetrack. Yep. So let's get our cars ready. And here's the launcher. We have to pull it back. Uh, Can you yeah. want to come down with us? Yeah. Three, two, one. Go! Whoa! 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 That was awesome! That was really fun. Who won? I don't know. I think maybe mine by just a second. Oh, oh yeah! Lane one, that's me, 4.1. Lane two, 3.72. Wow. wow! Shall we try it again? Yeah, come on. Okay. Wait, since your car won, do you mind if I try taking this weight off? Oh yeah, let's see if that helps. All right. <laughs> All right, and I'll keep mine on. Let's see if anything changes. Okay. Pull it back. Ready to count down? Three, two, one. Go! Mika? Wow, here's another racetrack. Oh. Shall we try this one out? Yeah, this one looks really cool. There's turns. Wow, do you want to go first? Sure, thanks. <laughs> okay. Pull it back. Okay, I can't wait to see it do the loop the loop. <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one. Go! Wow, look at it go. Around and around. Yeah, it's going so fast. Whoa. Whoa, last corner. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, that was awesome, Mika. Wow, 12.96 seconds. That's right, now it's your turn. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Yep. All right, three, two, one, go! Yeah! Whoa, look at it go. Yeah, keep coming. Yeah, just a little bit more. One more turn. Okay. Come on, come on. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. 18.22. Oh, Mika, you totally beat me. Oh, I wonder if it's the weight. <laughs> I don't know. Might be the cool looking blue car. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, a green track. Hey. This time I'm going to take one of my weights. Okay. Ooh, can I borrow it? You want to have this one? Sure. I'll have no weight. All right, and I'll have one weight. <laughs> okay. Here one, we two. go. Yeah. Three, two, two one, go! go. Yeah. Yeah. Go blue car. Go blue car. Go blue car. Whoa! Yeah, Mika, that was awesome. That was a fun one. All right, try it out. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Yeah! Oh, yeah, it made it! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, that was awesome! Shall we keep exploring? Yeah! Did you see that? Yeah, it went all the way up to the ceiling. And it made a circle. It really did. So cool. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. 
Woo! Support us most! Whoa! Whoa! It's kind of cold! Yeah, it's colder over here! Yeah! Shall we try and get in? Okay! Alright! Whoa! Whoa! I can't see Whoa! You. Whoa! Okay, it's gone now! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Wow! Some windmills! They're so tall! Yeah, and they're spinning because wind is blowing into them! It's really cool because when wind blows through the propeller type of thing, it harnesses the energy. Yeah, it's really good for the earth. Yeah. Ooh, and speaking of earth, yeah, there's a lot of rocks around the Ooh. earth. And this is a fake rock wall. Yeah. Have you ever tried one? No. You want to? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you go first. Let's try. Okay, let's see. Whoa. I love being active. Very healthy Look. for you. Whoa! So high. Wow, cool! Alright, I'll follow you. Alright, let's go. Can we go. go that way? Sure. Alright. A red scarf? Oh. And I have a blue and orange one tied together. Flippy, these are your favorite colors. Oh, yeah, you're right. Ooh, and look, a yellow one. Wow. Ooh, do we have more colors? Yep, here is a purple one. Oh, my God, you love purple. I really do. It's one of my favorite colors. Yeah, it's the same color as their shirt. <laughs> and? Oh. Last color. Green. Wow. Check this out. When we push these buttons, a lot of wind comes from here all the way up. I don't feel any wind in mine. Really? Let's try again. Now I do. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Now you know what to do. Yep. Here we go. These scarves are so light and they just fly up in the air. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. All right. There we go. Let's go in one last time. Okay. Three, two, one, one. go. Yeah. Woo that was awesome. Whoa. Wow. A wind machine. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, I want to try it. Have you ever been inside one? Huh. Oh, well, it gets really windy. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> All right. Okay. And I've got some scratches. All Bye, right. Bye, baby. Woo, take these. Woo, what's this? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Get ready. sure do love learning with you, Mika. Me too. We did so many cool things. Yeah, we learned about some science and some history. Yeah, we raced cars and we raced airplanes. Wow, <laughs> what a fun time. Yeah. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Yep. Will you spell my name with me? Of course. <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. <laughs> Good job. Wait a second. How do you spell your name? Oh, I'll show ya. <laughs> it's N P E K A H. Mika. Cool. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye. Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. Hi, and I'm Mika. And look at where we're at. We're at Artists at Play. Yep, in Seattle, 
Washington. This place is so cool. You can play like an artist. That's right. You can climb, you can dance, you can even make music. <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. Mm -hmm. Shall we? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Whoa! Wow. Cool! This looks like the yellow song fence. Whoa, a song fence? That sounds cool. I wonder how you do it. Whoa! Look at these balls. Interesting. <laughs> Whoa! That sounds great. Yeah. They sounded a little different. Yeah, let's hear it again. Oh. This one was higher than that one. Yeah, mine was a little lower. Wait a second. Let's widen out and see what that sounds like. Good idea. Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. My side is higher pitch. Yeah, and my side is lower. Let's go even wider. Okay. Ready? Yep. Ooh, that was really low. Whoa, <laughs> this side is high and that side is low. Yeah. Wait a second, since you're good at singing, let's check your pitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah, good job, Mika, <laughs> you're a great singer. Thanks, let's check your pitch. <laughs> okay. Let's come up here. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Oh. Not bad. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Wait. I have an idea. Why don't we start down there and go from really high? Wait, that side was low, yeah, right? Yeah, that's the low side. <laughs> okay, go from really low down to up to really high. Yeah, we can hear all the notes. Come on. All right, ready? Yep. Here we go. on them. Try it. Oh. Whoa! What a fun way to make music! Oh yeah, and there's some over here! Oh, wow, let's try it out! Whoa, this one only has two, a big one and a small one. Yeah, I wonder if one will be high and one will be low. All right, let's try it out. All right, ready? Yep. Okay. Wow. Oh. So the small one made a high-pitched noise. Yeah, and this one, the bigger one, made a lower noise. <laughs> oh, hey, I have an idea for a very, 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 very fun game. Oh, what is it? <laughs> okay, I will drop rocks on these two items, uh -huh. and then if it's the high-pitched, you jump high. Okay. And if it's the low-pitched, you squat down real low. Awesome. Oh, will you play with me? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. I'm going to just use my ears and listen. Hey. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh. <laughs> yeah. How did I do? Really good. You got 
every single one right. Nice, you did a good job too. Good job. <laughs> well, shall we? Yeah, let's keep looking. Oh, Mika, check it out. Oh, that looks like so much fun. <laughs> wow, this is a jungle gym and it looks like it's made out of rope. Yeah, and you can climb up the rope, which is so cool. Yeah, wait a second. Why don't we climb up higher than where we're at right now? Yeah, and things will look differently up high. That sounds like fun. Let's, Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. This is gonna be fun to see what we can see up here. Yeah, we could climb really high. Whoa, you're doing a great job. You too, Bliffy. Oh, thank you. Whoa. Whoa. This is cool. We can see so much from up here. Yeah, we're really high up. We can see the whole playground. Oh, yeah. There's the swings. Whoa. And Whoa. where we made some music. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, guess what I have? What? I brought my. Telescope! Whoa! Cool! Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> you scared gotcha. me. Gotcha! And check it out! The Space Needle! Whoa! It's so high up! Yeah! Hey! What? I wonder if we can get even higher, as high as the Space Needle! Oh yeah! If we go to the top of the Space Needle, I bet we're gonna see things differently from yeah. way up high! We can probably see even more! Cool! Let's go! Okay! Whoa, Blippi, check it out. The elevator that will take you up 52 floors. Whoa, that's really high. I'm excited. I know, me too. <laughs> Wait a second. I have an idea. Well, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. A, a race. race. <laughs> I'll take the stairs. And I'll take the elevator. All right, and we'll see who wins. Yes, let's do it. Ready? Yep. Three, Three two, two, one, go. I can't believe I get to go to the very top of the Space Needle. I wonder if I'm going to beat Blippi. This elevator's really fast. Did you know that the Space Needle is over 600 feet tall? That's more than 180 meters. Very, very tall. Whoa, we're so high up now. Oh, I think we're almost to the top. 830, 831. 832! Yeah! I made it to the top of the Space Needle! Oh, I am very tired though. Oh, that's a lot of steps. But oh, wait a second, where's Mika? Hey, Blippi! Oh, hey, Mika! You made it to the top of the Space Needle! Yeah, I can't believe you got here first! Well, I am pretty fast. You are really fast! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! What a beautiful view! Yeah, come look! And it looks like there's a deck right here. Oh, this must be the observation deck. You are so smart, Mika. <laughs> Shall we go check it out? Yeah, let's do it. Whoa, Whoa this place is awesome. Yeah, check out this incredible view. Whoa, and do you see all that water? Oh, that's called the Elliott Bay. Oh, it is? Yep. <laughs> wow, I bet there's a lot of fish in there. Oh, I bet you're right. Oh, I see a lot of boats. Oh, and buildings and yeah. green trees. Oh, yeah, so pretty. Yeah. Did you know these trees are called evergreen trees? They stay green year round. So cool. Yeah. Some people call Seattle the Emerald City because of all of the green trees. Because emerald is green. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mika, why is this place called the Space Needle? Hmm. It's not like we're up in space. <laughs> That's true. Well, in the World's Fair a really long time ago, it was space themed. So they built this tower that looks like something maybe you'd find in space, right? Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, we're so high up. I feel like we are getting close to space. Whoa. <laughs> well, shall we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, this has been wow. so much fun. Yeah. Whoa, cool. Oh, Whoa, what? Mika, watch out. Oh, you Blippi. almost fell through. It's okay. It's a glass floor. <laughs> Whoa, are you sure it's safe and yep. strong? It's actually 10 layers of glass, which means it's as strong as walking on concrete. See? Whoa, be <laughs> careful. Totally Do you think safe. it's safe enough for me to come on too? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it feels kind of funny. You got this. Whoa. Whoa. All, right. Whoa. All right. There you go. 
All right. See? Whoa. Yeah, yeah. I guess it is safe. <laughs> Whoa, this is really cool. I know, right? Oh, and look down there. Yeah, you can see all the way to the ground. Yeah, everything looks so small. Uh-huh. Shall we lay down? Oh, good idea. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Wow, they look like ants, but they're actually people. Yeah, it's so teeny tiny. Whoa. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Wait a second. Mika, do you see what I see? We're moving. Whoa. Yeah. A rotating glass floor? Yeah, and it's the only rotating glass floor in the world. Whoa, cool. This is awesome. I know, it's really fun. Whoa. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and if it rotates and goes all the way around, we can stand right here and see the whole city 360 degrees. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Speaking wow. of cool, look at the view. Yeah, look at all of those houses. Wow, that building is so big. Whoa, really big, <laughs> but not as tall as this tower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, wow. and that's a big lake over there. Oh, yeah. What do you see? Oh, I see some traffic over there. Whoa. Oh, there's a football field. Whoa, cool, that looks like fun. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of fun, the playground we were on oh, earlier. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh. Hey. hey, do you want to get a closer look? Uh, yeah. How do we do that? I brought binoculars. Whoa, cool, Mika. <laughs> yeah, you want to share? Yeah. Okay. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> wow, let's look out there. Whoa. Whoa, look at that person. Oh. Cute oh. bag. Hello, sir. Oh, well, I wonder where he's going. Oh, in a big hurry, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look up here. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, a rainbow. It's so colorful. Yeah. Oh. oh, I love rainbows. Yeah. Do you know how rainbows are made? Oh, tell us. Well, light shines through a bunch of water molecules, and then it creates a rainbow. Yeah, and they're so pretty. <laughs> Whoa, this has been so much fun up here. Oh, what a cool way to see the city. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Do you know what day it is? Rainbow Day! It's Rainbow Day, yeah, Flippy, how you doing? Red and orange, yellow, green and blue, and indigo and violet, do you like it? It's a colorful world and we're all smiling. Look around you at all the happy faces, so much to see, so many different Day. It's so colorful. Oh, that was so much fun. Yeah, I had a great day learning and playing with you, Blippi. Oh, me too, Mika. Wow, wasn't that so much fun playing at the Artists of Play? Yeah, we made such cool music with those sound machines. Oh, and it was really fun racing to the top of the Space Needle in Seattle. Yeah, Blippi, you were really fast. 
<laughs> well, it was really tiring. That's a lot of stairs. Yeah, I was <laughs> impressed. Yeah. Speaking of impressed. Yeah, the view was incredible. Yeah. <laughs> and this glass floor Whoa. was so awesome. Yeah, I love the Space Needle. <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with us? Yeah. <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. Hey, will you spell my name with us? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> All right, see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa, hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at where we're at today. You don't know where we're at? Yeah, because it's an illusion. <laughs> Today, we're at World of Illusions in Hollywood, California. And this place is so awesome. But first, I have someone really important to introduce you to. Yeah, it's my best friend. Hey, Blippi. Hey, everyone. I'm Mika. Yeah, this is Mika. She is my best friend. Oh, Blippi, you're my best friend. Oh, no, Mika. You're my best friend. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited to get to hang out with you today. Yeah. What are we going to do? Well, we're at World of Illusions. Whoa, I bet there's so many cool things to look at. Yeah, there is. And I brought my camera so I can take some pictures. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Wow. <laughs> look at this place. Whoa. Did you see us? We were so many back there. Yeah, we were so little, and now that we're up close, we look bigger. <laughs> and speaking of big and gigantic, whoa, everything in this room is gigantic. It's so big. Whoa, this is awesome. Whoa, whoa look at these. Whoa. Whoa. They're giant eggs. Wow. Let's count the eggs together. Okay. One, One two, two, three, Four, five, six. Six giant eggs. Yeah. Wow, and they're so colorful. I was just going to say that. Yeah? I love how colorful they are. What one is your favorite? Ooh, I think this one because there's yellow and purple, and I like all these stripes, this cool design. Whoa, and I like this one because it has orange and this kind of bluish color. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Check it out! Huh. We're sitting in a giant dog bowl! Whoa! <laughs> Ooh, the dog food in here would be so massive! Can you imagine the dog that would eat from this bowl? Whoa! That would be a gigantic dog! Yeah! <laughs> Definitely not a chihuahua! <laughs> oh, no way! Wow! Hey, do you have any pets at home? Whoa! <laughs> cool. Ooh, let's go explore! Yeah. What's over here? Whoa. Whoa! What? They're giant headphones! Yeah! Normally headphones are so small and that go on your ear. But these are giant! Yeah, they're really big! This would be for a giant's ears. <laughs> That's silly. Whoa! Look at this! Oh, fabulous! I love this unicorn! Yeah, she loves unicorns. <laughs> Do you want to ride it? Yes. Oh, can you help me? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Here you go. All right, actually, right. I'm going to step up here. Here, and here I come. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Be careful. Whoa. Whoa. Where are you going, Mika? Oh, I think I'm just going to go get some ice cream. Whoa. Ice cream on her unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> that is so silly. Well, how do I look? Well, you look really good. Maybe <laughs> I should take a picture of you. Oh, yeah. Whoa. All right. Say giant unicorn on three. <laughs> One, two, three. Giant unicorn. Wow. Wow, this is going to be such a great picture. Woo. Let's see. Check it out. Oh, I love it. Thanks, Flippy. You're welcome. Hey, Mika, I have a great idea. Why don't we go play some hide and seek? <gasps> yes. Yeah. Have I you ever played hide and seek before? Yeah. How about I hide? Okay, and then you can help me find Blippi. Oh, we'll count together to five. 
All right. All right, go hide. Okay, close your eyes. Everyone, close your eyes. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. Hey, come help me. Do you see Blippi? See. Is Blippi by the giant eggs? Hmm, I don't see him there. Oh, maybe in the big dog bowl, Blippi. Hmm. Let's go back to the giant headphones. Not here. Maybe behind the really cool unicorn. Blippi! Where is he? Hmm. Blippi! I'm over here. Did you hear that? Blippi? I'm right over here. Blippi! <laughs> <laughs> I was hiding behind the eggs the whole time. I didn't even see you when I looked the first time. <laughs> Did you see me? <laughs> oh, nice. That was awesome. Hey, let's go play some more hide and seek together. Oh, yes, I want to hide. All right, let's go. Whoa, Whoa. check it out. We're in a kitchen. Yeah, look at this giant piece of cake. Oh, it looks so yummy. Yeah, ooh, I wish it were real. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> Looks like it's a vanilla piece of cake. Yeah, and mm. look at these yummy pink layers. Maybe strawberry. Ooh, or raspberry. Yeah. Whoa. Ooh, and the frosting up top. Ooh. Yum. Sprinkles and. <gasps> Whoopi, look at this. Whoa. A giant cherry. Yum. Yeah, <laughs> a piece of cake with the cherry on top. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, look over here. Whoa. Whoa. It's a. Blippi cup! Oh, <laughs> Blippi teacup! Yeah! This big saucer! Wow, this would be a really big tea party! Yeah! A Blippi tea party! Yeah! Oh, nice and warm! Woo -hoo -hoo. Hey! Why don't you take my picture? Yes, that's a great idea! <laughs> All right! Okay. I'll say tea party on three! All right, ready? Yep! Blippi tea party on three! One, two, three! Blippi tea party! Yeah! Oh, yes! How does it look? Let's take a look together. <gasps> Whoa! It looks so small! Yeah, the cup is so big! Yeah! Wow! Whoa, thanks for taking my picture! Of course! Whoa! Ooh, thank you! Whoa! Wow, it's so big! Look at this kitchen counter, Blippi! Yeah! We wouldn't be able to reach any cookies if they were up there. No, it's so <laughs> tall. Oh, or if there are some bananas. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, or some broccoli. Ooh. Ooh. Nope. What, what would you want if it was up there? Ooh, I think I would want a nice tall cup of orange juice. Let's get Yum. Oh. Nope. nope. Hey, this would be a great room to play another round of hide and seek. That's a great idea. Yeah, can I hide now? Okay, yeah, you yeah. can hide. Okay, awesome. All right, will you close your eyes with me and count to five? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, ready or not, here we come. Okay, did she buy the cake? Hmm, where are you, Mika? I don't see you by the cake. Do you see Mika by the cake? Hmm, not seeing her. Huh, all right, what about the teacup? Mika, where are you? <laughs> I don't see her anywhere. Whoa, where could she be? Mika, oh, maybe on top of the kitchen countertop. Mika, where are you? Oh, is she up here? Whoa, no. I don't see her anywhere. Do you see Mika? Hmm. Mika, where are you? I'm behind you. What? She said she's behind me, but I can't see her. Do you see her? Mika, where are you? Mika! What? She's behind me? I don't see her. What? You're saying that she's in the cupboard? Okay, let's go check. Mika! <laughs> yeah, we found her! Good job! I love playing.
playing hide and seek. Yeah, that was so fun. Yeah. Well, shall we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, come on. Whoa, you look so small. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. This place is awesome. Yeah. Doesn't Blippi look so much bigger than me? Yeah, Nika, you look so small. <laughs> Whoa, but check this out. <laughs> Whoa, now I'm really big. And I'm really small. <laughs> Do you want to see how it works? Whoa, come on. Yeah, come on. Whoa. See how the floor is slanted? It's kind of like a ramp. Yeah. And Mika was a lot closer to you, and I was further. Yeah. I was closer to you, I looked really big. And when I was further away, I looked small. Yeah. Do you want to see an example? <laughs> see my two hands? They're the same size. Yes, but if you move one hand back and the other one forward, this hand looks bigger than this hand because it's closer. Yeah. This place is awesome. It's really, really fun. Yeah, should we go explore some more? Yeah, let's keep looking. Yeah. Check it out! Whoa, I'm sitting on an elephant trunk! Yeah! Whoa. And I'm balancing on an elephant tusk! Whoa! Let's sound like elephants together! All right, here we go! <laughs> Will you act like an elephant with us? <laughs> Whoa! Hey, Mika, I should take your picture! Yes, please! All right! Say elephant on three. One, two, three. Elephant. Whoa. Whoa. This is going to be such a great picture. Whoa. Oh, let me see. Wow. wow, it really looks like I'm sitting on an elephant trunk. I know. And it looks like I'm standing right now on the elephant tusk. Yeah, but if you come over here, come over this way. Yeah. You will see, I'm just sitting on the floor. And I'm just standing on the floor. <laughs> That's called an illusion. Yeah, this place is so cool. Yeah. Should we go explore some more? Yeah. Come Let's on. go. Come on. Surprise, Mama Chick. I'm not a baby chick. I'm Mika. Hello. <laughs> oh, Mika, what are you doing? Hey, Flippy, look. I just hatched out of this egg. You didn't? Here, Mika. <laughs> yep. Hey, Mika, do you mind if I take a picture of you? Oh, yes, please. All right. <laughs> what should I say? How about baby chick on three? Okay. One, two, three. Baby chick. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Let's see this picture. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. <laughs> it does look like you're a baby chicken. It really does. Thanks for the picture. You're welcome. No, you Thank you. That one. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Whoa! Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we're jumping on a trampoline. Yeah, with a bunch of cupcakes. Whoa! <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Whoa, look at these cupcakes. What colors Whoa. are they, Mika? I see orange. Who likes the color orange? Me! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Is that why you always wear a purple shirt? You know it. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. The green cupcake. Ooh, it's green. Yo. <laughs> just like my camera. The mm -hmm. color green. And look, it's not a campaign at all. It's another illusion. It's just painted on the floor. Yeah. Hey, Mika, what cupcake would you want to eat? Ooh. <laughs> probably the purple one. <laughs> yeah. I would probably pick the orange one. Yeah, yummy. Should we jump some more? Yeah, let's do it.
were upside down, but now the room is upside down. Yeah. Oh. We must be in an upside down house. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah. I love upside down houses. Why don't we go see what other rooms there are in the upside down house? Yeah. Whoa. 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 Ooh, the kitchen. Come on. I brought my camera. Yeah. yeah, now I have this cool photo album. Yeah, we took so many pictures. Yeah. Ooh. What was your favorite part of today? <laughs> oh, right there. I love the elephant. Oh, yeah, that was so Ooh, silly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah. B L I. Pee-pee-eye! Flippy! <laughs> Good job! Wait a second. Nika, how do you spell your name? Oh, I'll tell ya! It's N-E-E-K-A-H. Nika! Nika. Yeah! <laughs> All right, see you soon! Bye-bye! Yeah. <laughs> hey! It's me, Flippy! <laughs> and today, we're here at the Children's Museum at La Habra in La Habra, California. And I am so excited! Whoa! <laughs> I almost tripped. You know what this is? <laughs> yeah, it's a footprint. A really, really big footprint. <laughs> hmm. Must have belonged to an animal. Or maybe even a dinosaur. <laughs> hey, let's follow the footprints. Maybe we can see some animals and dinosaurs today. Come on. Check it out! It's a nest with dinosaur eggs. Ooh! <laughs> yeah, did you know that? A long time ago, dinosaurs would lay eggs and make nests. Kind of like a bird or a reptile. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, the nest would help keep the eggs all together and nice and safe. <laughs> but with every nest with eggs in it comes a mommy dinosaur. Whoa! <laughs> and this is a really big mommy dinosaur. It's called a Parasaurolophus. Whoa! <laughs> That's a tongue twister. These dinosaurs are amazing! Whoa! <laughs> the Parasaurolophus is part of the Hadrosaur family. Yeah, that means it's duck build. <laughs> and this Parasaurolophus looks like it's wearing some lipstick. <laughs> Ooh, you look very pretty. <laughs> Whoa, did you notice something? Yeah, there's a bone crest on the back of its head. It used to be able to make a honking sound, blowing air out of that. Honk, 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 honk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa. Well, one other thing you should know is Parasaurolophus were very protective of their nest. Whoa, 
look at what it is. It's a Triceratops. Hello. <laughs> Do you know why this dinosaur is called a Triceratops? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's because it has three horns on its face. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, but don't worry. The Triceratops was an herbivore. That means it only ate plants. <laughs> the horns were only to defend itself and its family. <laughs> and Triceratops are so powerful, <laughs> they could even protect themselves from the mighty T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> this Triceratops is really sweet and loves some pets and scratches. <laughs> Ooh, Triceratops are also really, really big and really heavy. Whoa! They can be as big as a school bus! <laughs> and way up to five tons! Woo! <laughs> well, I'll see you later. Bye-bye, Triceratops. <laughs> Have you ever wondered how we know what dinosaurs look like? <laughs> well, we learned by discovering fossils. <laughs> yeah, a fossil could be something like a bone and it gives us clues to what a dinosaur would have really looked like. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. It looks like we're here at a dig site and maybe we can discover a new dinosaur. <laughs> Whoa, come here, yeah. See, I have a brush. Instead of using something like a shovel, people use brushes to discover fossils. <laughs> yeah, a brush is nice and gentle. So fuzzy, kind of bristly. And that's so the fossil doesn't get damaged. <laughs> okay, let's start finding some fossils. Whoa, I think I see something. Oh, check it out. Oh, it's a dinosaur fossil. Whoa, let's see if we can find another. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! We found one, two fossils. Whoa! <laughs> They're bones. <laughs> it's really fun looking for fossils. Yeah, and people who grow up and they learn about dinosaurs for their job, they're called paleontologists. <laughs> yeah, they are really good at studying dinosaurs. <laughs> I think we should keep looking. Whoa! I think we found a really big one. Brush, brush, brush. <laughs> it's so sandy. <laughs> but thanks to my brush, I'm not damaging the fossil. Mm -mm. Nope, just brushing away the sand. And then, <gasps> whoa, this is so cool. Yeah, a paleontologist who's discovered all these bones, but then put them together, kind of like a puzzle. And that's how we know what dinosaurs look like. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa. Hello, Mr. Cow. <laughs> Aw, such a sweet cow. Well, I've had so much fun learning about animals like dinosaurs that lived a really long time ago. <laughs> Do you know what animal this is? Yeah. These are two sheep. <laughs> Will you act like a sheep with me? Okay, they go like this. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> they like back scratches. Yeah, sheep are so nice. Hey, wait a minute. Cows, sheep, we must be on a farm. <laughs> Let's go see if we can find some other farm animals. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> it looks like it's a chicken coop. And chickens like to lay eggs. <laughs> Maybe we can find some eggs. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> some beautiful looking eggs laid by the chickens. <laughs> Ooh, 
I'm gonna take two for later. Thank you, chickens. <laughs> hey, and this, yeah, this is a rooster. Hmm. His name is Brewster, <laughs> and we're really good friends. He's gonna come along with me today. <laughs> Let's keep exploring the farm. Whoa, do you see what I see? It's a farmhouse. <laughs> and it looks like it's a farmhouse from a hundred years ago. Whoa, <laughs> a lot has changed in 100 years. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's go inside and see what's changed. Come on. Look at this place. It's so old. <laughs> whoa, and look at this. Huh, do you know what this is? This is a really old phone. <laughs> Brewster, do you want to make a call? <laughs> it looks like that's a yes. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> well, Brewster really likes to talk on the phone. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is an old sink. Well, today you just turn on the faucet. But with this, <laughs> a long time ago, a hundred years ago, you had to use this pump. And then you could fill up a cup for water or a bowl to boil some noodles. <laughs> Anything you need water for. Hey, what if you and I made some tasty lunch? <laughs> now, while we're cooking our food, we need to set the table. Whoa, <laughs> check it out. This beautiful table with a beautiful tablecloth. Hmm, we're gonna need some mugs. <laughs> one for you, one for me, and <laughs> some plates. <laughs> I think we're all ready to eat. This looks so tasty. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Look at what's behind me. Ooh, <laughs> a nice cozy fireplace. Ah, so cozy. Hmm. <laughs> and a radio. <laughs> this radio is so old. Whoa! Yeah! Let's see if we can turn it on and listen to some music. <laughs> yeah! I love this song! I just love animals. And I really love dinosaurs. And one of my favorite dinosaurs is the T-Rex. Walk like a T-Rex. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Big long strides, can you see? We're heavy stepping, stomping along the way. We do the walking T Rex every day. Isn't it so much fun pretending that we're a big, scary Tyrannosaurus Rex? Let's think of all the things they can do and let's copy the actions. Walk like a T Rex, stomp, stomp, stomp. jaw with our hands we stretch our arms wide open that is the plan and then we snap them shut and open again it's so much fun when we are playing pretend <laughs> good job being a t-rex this is so much fun let's sing it again 
walk like a T-Rex. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Talk like a T-Rex. Roar, roar, roar. Run like a T-Rex. Clomp, clomp, clomp. Now clap your hands. Let's move some more. Whoa, <laughs> you're a pretty scary T-Rex. <laughs> that was really fun. <laughs> Whew, but now, I think I need a little bit of a break. Ooh, maybe we can take a break on the rocking chair. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. It looks like you could still have fun even a hundred years ago. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome! We saw so many animals and dinosaurs. We even got to see some fossils and learn what a paleontologist does. Whoa! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Whoa! And it looks like there's a dino behind me! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Dinosaur! <laughs> Do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? <laughs> yeah! It's a Tyrannosaurus Rex, or T-Rex! <laughs> they were really big dinosaurs, 40 feet long, 12 feet tall, <laughs> and lived a really long time ago. <laughs> I like T-Rexes because they have really big heads and really teeny tiny arms. <laughs> Let's go find some more dinosaurs. Woo. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> We're here at a dig site. Yeah, where we can dig up and discover fossils. <laughs> oh, good thing I have my trusty brush. Yeah, when you're digging up fossils, you don't want to use a shovel or your hands. You want to use a brush so it's nice and gentle. Because breaking a fossil could mean losing precious information for a scientific discovery. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we basically don't want to break the fossils. Well, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> oh, let's see what we can find. Oh, brushing away. <laughs> brush. Whoa! Whoa! Check it out! It's a fossil! <laughs> I wonder if this is a dinosaur. What kind of creature this could be? Whoa! Hmm! Whoa! <laughs> Check it out! Huh! Are those fingers? Whoa! <laughs> this looks really cool! Gotta keep brushing! Whoa! Did you know that people who work to study dinosaurs, they're called paleontologists. <laughs> yeah, I really like dinosaurs, but not a paleontologist. Yeah, paleontologists, they know all about fossils and dinosaurs. Whoa, they study dinosaurs every day. <laughs> That's a lot of dinosaurs. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> it's a dinosaur bone. Whoa, it looks like we found a foot and we found the body. <laughs> I wonder what's over here. Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Look, we found its face. Hello. <laughs> Hello, little dinosaur. Well, this isn't a little dinosaur. This looks like a big dinosaur. It looks like a stegosaurus. <laughs> Hello, stegosaurus. Whoa. That's awesome! Whoa, look at this! <laughs> this looks like a really, really big bone. But this isn't a bone, it's a fossil. Hello? <laughs> yeah, well, a fossil might look like a bone, but what happens is a bone falls on the ground, and then dirt and mud covers it up. <laughs> then that bone decomposes, it goes away. But there's still that space where the bone was, and sediment and different material fills it up, and turns into a rock. And then, a really long time in the future, <laughs> we find it just like this. 
And that's a fossil that scientists can use to learn about dinosaurs. <laughs> Whoa, check this one out. <laughs> this is a really small fossil. Huh, hmm, this doesn't really look like a dinosaur. Hmm, doesn't really look like a bone either. I wonder what it is. Ooh, I don't know what this is, but I bet if we ask, a dino expert can tell us. <laughs> hey, let's go find a dino expert. Hmm, I wonder what this is. <laughs> Whoa, I really wish I knew what this fossil was. Hmm, Ooh, I see someone, maybe they know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi, what's your name? Hi Blippi, I'm Kevin, oh. and I'm a dino expert. Whoa, no way! It is so nice to meet you, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's a dino expert. Maybe he knows what this is a fossil of. <laughs> Whoa, well, Kevin, we found this fossil, but I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, I can totally tell you what this is. This is actually a tooth of an Edmontosaurus. Oh, a tooth? <laughs> Whoa, we didn't know what it was, but it's a tooth of an Edmontosaurus? That's right, yeah, that's this animal right here. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> The Edmontosaurus is so big! <laughs> oh, and look, it does have some teeth up there, and it looks like it has a duck bill. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> yeah, that duck bill was actually used to peck at leaves and pull them off the trees. Whoa, that is amazing! Huh, did it just eat leaves or other things too? Uh, no, this was an herbivore, which means it only eats plants. Whoa, yeah. Some dinosaurs were herbivores. <laughs> that means they like to eat lots of plants but others were carnivores. <laughs> they like to eat meat, and some were omnivores. Yeah, that means they eat meat and vegetables and leaves and plants. <laughs> Whoa, oh, but this tooth looks like lots of teeth. Is this just one tooth? This is just one tooth. It looks like that because uh, this Edmontosaurus used to grind up its food to make it easier to eat. Whoa, <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, that kind of reminds me of a cow. <laughs> Whoa, that's a pretty cool Edmontosaurus. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Its legs are so big. <laughs> Looks like it's really good at walking. <laughs> yeah, it is, actually. It used to walk on all fours, but if it needed to get higher, uh, like to get trees, leaves off of the trees, uh, it would stand up on two legs to get more height. Wow, did you hear that? <laughs> it could stand up just like you and me, or walk on all fours just like a little puppy dog. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, and I had one other question, Kevin. Yeah? Do all dinosaurs walk on the land? They do, actually. Oh. Yeah. Well, what about dinosaurs that fly in the air or are in the water? Those actually aren't considered dinosaurs. They're oh. called prehistoric creatures. Whoa, prehistoric creatures. Whoa. <laughs> And I really hope I can see a prehistoric creature one day. <laughs> hmm. Well, do you know of any prehistoric creatures? I do actually have another one right here. And you know what? He's a little lonely. He needs a friend. Whoa, check it out. It's a prehistoric creature. Whoa. <laughs> and what kind of creature is this? This one's a trilobite. Whoa, a trilobite. <laughs> Well, we need to find this trilobite a friend. <laughs> well, thank you, Kevin, for showing me the trilobite and this amazing dinosaur. <laughs> this was so much fun. <laughs> I'll see you later, Kevin. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's go find a friend. <laughs> Whoa, there are so many amazing fossils here, just like our little trilobite. Hello. <laughs> yeah, keep your eye out. We might need to find him a friend. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> Oh, there's a person. Maybe they can help us. Hi. Hi, Blippi. I'm Laura. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Laura. <gasps> Whoa, and what is that? This is a trilobite, a really big one. Whoa, look. We have a little small trilobite and a really, really big one. <laughs> it's so big. And I bet they're going to be great friends. Oh, yeah. Hey, good friends like to dance. Let's do the trilobite dance. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> these trilobites are really good dancers. <laughs> wow, this is a really amazing fossil. 
Yeah. And these trilobites, they lived underwater? They did. They are prehistoric arthropods, which means that they're related to bugs and crabs. Whoa, did you hear that? This isn't a dinosaur, no. A trilobite is an arthropod? An arthropod. <laughs> Whoa, that is a really big name. It <laughs> is. But it just means that the trilobite is a really, really old bug. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Laura, is this a dinosaur? No, actually, this is a prehistoric marine reptile. <laughs> Whoa, a prehistoric marine reptile? So it's not a dinosaur? No, it's not. Dinosaurs lived on land, but oh. there are other creatures that flew in the sky and swam in the sea, like yeah. this one. This is Tylosaurus. Ooh, hello, Tylosaurus. <laughs> hey, this is a Tylosaurus. This is a Tylosaurus. Yeah, <laughs> it's a Tylosaurus. Ooh, let's give it a name. We should call this Tylosaurus Tyler. <laughs> I think that's a great name. Hello, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> oh, and it looks like Tyler has a lot of teeth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and do you see? Tyler is really, really big. <laughs> he looks almost as big as a T-Rex. <laughs> he is. He's almost the same length as a T-Rex. You could call him the T-Rex of the ocean. Whoa, check him out. <laughs> Wow. He's really cool. Do you see that spot on his jaw that looks like a break? It's actually not a break in his jaw, it's a hinge. Tylosaurus could unhinge its jaw to swallow prey whole. Whoa, did you hear that? Tyler can unhinge his jaw. <laughs> yeah, you've probably seen a hinge before. Yeah, a hinge goes like this. <laughs> Doors have hinges and Tyler has a hinge for his jaw so he can open up really wide. Woo! <laughs> to eat lots of yummy food. <laughs> well, thank you so much for teaching me all about prehistoric creatures. <laughs> I'll see you later, Laura. Bye. There you go. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking for some more dinosaurs and fossils. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>
Cool! Yeah, this is where everyone comes to swim! Whoa! Do you like Raptor Reef? <sighs> yeah! I bet you do. You seem to have a lot of fun here. Hey! I have a couple questions for you. Uh, yeah! Whoa! So are you a Velociraptor? Yeah! You are so cool! Do you love hanging out here? Yeah? Well, I love hanging out here too! It's so cool and it's so colorful! Hey! I have an idea! Will you dance with me? Yeah! Here we go! Whoa! This is so cool! Good dancing! Well, I'm gonna keep exploring. Maybe I'll see you later. If not, thank you so much. All right, see you later. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is the wave pool. Yeah, there's some mechanical things back there and that go up and down, up and down, and it makes some waves. Whoa, cool. Whoa, what's this? Huh. Looks like a bunch of random things. Looks like there's a shiny cup. <laughs> huh. Ooh, a pail? Yeah, for making sand castles. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. <laughs> cool. Ooh. And look at this. Whoa. A blue ball. One of my two favorite colors. Cool. It looks like there's a lot of other fun things in here. <laughs> I have no idea why they're here, but <laughs> pretty cool. Come on. Do you see those? Yeah, there's two raptors up there. It looks like they're playing. Should we go say hi? <laughs> Come on. Whoa, look at this. Wow, it looks like the end of a water slide. Yeah, a yellow water slide. So cool. <gasps> Whoa, look! The raptors! Whoa, raptors are so cool. Yeah, do you see their claws? Whoa, they're so sharp. Whoa, looks like they're playing. They're saying, hey! <laughs> do you wanna play? The other one's like, yeah! Whoa, and check out the feet right here. Whoa, yeah! Do you see the big claws on the feet? Yeah, come check it out. Whoa, cool. All right. Hey, I have an idea. Since we're at a pool and we saw all those items earlier. Yeah, remember all those random items? Yeah. Why don't we play sink or float? Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Let's go. This is gonna be so much fun. But first, did you see how I was walking? Yeah, anytime you're next to a pool, you always wanna walk, you never run. All right, now it's time for sink or float. Yeah, all right, well, let's do the blue ball first. I bet you and I know what this is gonna do. Yeah, it's really light. All right, here we go. Yeah, it floats. <laughs> all right. What about this pink pan? Ooh, it's like I'm making some eggs for breakfast. <laughs> All right, see you later, pan. Oh, yeah, it floats as well. All right, let's see. Whoa, cool. Look, a rhinoceros. Whoa, rhinoceros is so cool. Yeah, do you see that? It's like a horn on its nose. All right, rhinoceros, let's see if it sinks or floats. Whee! <laughs> that floats as well. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Aw. Hey, look, a little spoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a spoon is a utensil. So then you can eat your food with a utensil and not your hands. Sink or float, bye-bye. Yeah, it sinks. Whoa, that was our first item that sinks. All right, let's see here. Whoa, so many cool items. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Whoa, I could have used this with that skillet. Yeah, that pan, yeah. Because this is a spatula, 
So then I could have grabbed the eggs and put it on a plate. But it's really heavy. I bet I know what this is gonna do. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! That also sinks! All right, let's see here. Ooh! <laughs> Whoa! All right, check these out. These look like bath toys. Whoa! Yeah, an orange one. Looks like an octopus. Ooh, and it looks like a sea turtle. Wow! Octopuses and sea turtles live in the ocean. All right, see you later, sea turtle. Woohoo! Yeah, it floats. And I bet you this is gonna do the same because it's a bath toy. Whee! Yeah, it floats as well. All right, let's see here. Whoa! Another animal. Yeah, do you know what this is? Yeah, this is a cheetah. Wow, do you see how it's running? Yeah, cheetahs are super duper fast. Whoa! Cheetahs can run about 70 miles an hour. Now that is fast. That's as fast as you drive on a freeway. All right, let's see you, cheetah, go in the water super fast. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! That cheetah toy floats. Whoa! Yeah! Some beach toys. Wow, have you ever been to the beach? Yeah, it's so fun just putting your feet in the sand, here in the waves. Wow! Yeah, and seeing the surfers. Cool! Yeah, these are beach toys because you can put sand in here and then make sand castles out of them. All right, here we go! Sink or float! Woohoo! 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 Yeah! All those toys float! <laughs> All right, what else do we have in here? Oh, cool! Yeah! Tennis balls! Looks like we have a green, blue, and orange tennis ball. Well, should we see if they sink or float? Yeah! But first, woohoo! Yeah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> whoa, yeah, those tennis balls float! <laughs> whoa, hey! <laughs> whoa, all right, let's see. Stanley? <laughs> Is this Stanley? Oh, hello, Stanley! <laughs> yeah, looks like a Stanley toy, all right. Stanley is a velociraptor, as you know. Yeah, he's a very fierce dinosaur, but he's also very nice. All right, Stanley, we're gonna see if you sink or float. Woohoo! Yeah! Stanley floats! Looks like we have a few things left. So, shall I throw it all in? Yeah! Oh, can't forget this and this. Whoa! All right, three, two, one. Yeah! Wow! <laughs> that was so much fun! Seeing what items sink and what items float! I sure do love having fun with you and learning with you. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah! B-L-I-P-P-I! -I. Flippy, good job. All right, see you later. Bye bye. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Come on, everyone, let's make learning fun.